How's it going, you guys? So, I was just doing some research um, about heart disease and the cause of heart disease because I watched a video of some guy, uh, his YouTube channel name is Primal Edge Health, who's been on a ketogenic diet, which means hot, super high fat, moderate protein, and zero carb. He's been on this diet for uh, over five years now, and he got himself a carotid artery ultrasound, which is the golden standard for detecting plaque in the arteries. And his doctor, uh, his results came back that his arteries were perfect, absolutely clean, and he was uh, his cardiovascular system was in uh, far greater health than an average person his age. But essentially, his, his arteries were clean. So I was like, well, fuck. You know, how the hell can cholesterol be a cause of heart disease, you know, dietary cholesterol, when this guy eats nothing but fat and cholesterol and protein, and his arteries are clean? Does it really, does it make sense? Like, how is that possible? It can't be possible. It's impossible for fat and cholesterol to cause heart disease if, if uh, there's people out there who eat nothing but fat and cholesterol and protein and zero carbs and they have no signs of heart disease or they have uh, clean arteries, it doesn't make sense. You would, if, if cholesterol and fat were that bad for your heart, then his carotid artery scan would not come back clean. And then I thought about Bob Harper, and I've done a video about this before. Bob Harper, um, had a heart attack in 2000 in February 2017. Bob Harper was a CrossFit person who really followed um, the standard bodybuilding CrossFit uh, fitness diet. And a lot of people they have it all wrong. So here's the big thing here that really is is messed up. So I was I was reading uh, articles about Bob Harper, his heart attack or whatever. And if you don't know who he is look up Bob Harper, okay, he was on like uh, The Biggest Loser, and uh, he's like a fitness uh, guru guy who gets people in shape and whatnot, makes them lose weight, okay, and does CrossFit, and his workouts suck, <laughs> um, so anyway, I was reading this article, and uh, the article was on his heart attack, and it said uh, like five changes Bob Harper's making to his life after his heart attack. And uh, it said in there that Bob Harper followed a high-fat, low-carb, high-protein diet, and that led to his heart attack. That, they said that he followed a high-fat diet that led to his heart attack and a, a low-carb diet. Um, and a lot of vegans use Bob Harper's heart attack as an example as to why uh, fat and protein cause heart disease. Okay. But here's the problem with this is that Bob Harper has his Instagram on public and you can go and look at all of the posts that he made in 2016 leading up to his heart attack. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm very curious about the truth. And I looked up, I saw all of his food pictures um, for six months leading up to his heart attack. There was literally like almost no animal fat at all. In fact, his diet's rather immature and foolish, in my opinion. He ate nothing but egg whites, uh, turkey, grilled chicken, and he would have like toast and bread and uh, rice occasionally. His diet was mainly fat-free, okay? And it was moderate carb, high protein. Okay. Now this is not good. If you're going to be consuming animal protein without the fat, uh, this is going to cause a lot of issues. You're going to be deficient. You're going to have um, irregularities in your fatty acid ratio, monounsaturated to EPA, DHA, omega three to saturated. This is important, and this is probably what caused his uh, his attack. But or not, actually, uh, not even actually. I I'm sure it wasn't that. I'll tell you what it was: electrolyte imbalance probably cause his it was an, it was not even a heart attack 
Um, he didn't even have a blockage uh, in, in the artery, from what I remember um, reading. And, and the news media, the media websites and whatnot seem to have all the information wrong, okay? Um, but uh, he blamed on genetics. I think it was electrolyte imbalance. I think he was on um, some fat burning supplements or something. And, uh, and that in combination with nutrient deficiencies, because if you look at his posts, the guy was hardly eating any food. And he's skinny as fuck. He's skinny and very weak too. His workouts were pathetic. The article said that he did crazy workouts. Bob said he did a bunch of crazy workouts and he couldn't do crazy workouts anymore. His workouts sucked. They were like so not intense, okay? Anyway, it's not meant to be bashing him or anything, but um, it's very, like I cannot keep myself silent. The bottom line is he was following a low fat diet, okay? A low fat diet. His diet was very high in low fat, like firstly fat free animal products, okay? So people who claim like it's like, oh, all the fat he was eating that caused heart disease. Dude, look at his Instagram posts. The only fat that that guy was really eating, and this was hardly even men, you know significant, he was eating a little bit of like peanut butter on, on toast and whatnot, and a little bit of guacamole or avocados. It was really pathetic and un unhealthy, okay? As far as I'm concerned. Um, the guy was hardly eating any fat, and really hardly any carbohydrates either, okay? He was mainly just eating protein. In fact, in one of his posts, um, in those six months leading up to his heart attack, he had a vegan, he was, he was taking vegan protein powder. So the guy was not on a paleo diet. In fact, from what I, from what I heard, he was following a weight loss protocol um, from Renaissance Periodization, which is a nutrient periodizing um, system uh, program. Okay, that is totally weight loss and body recomposition. It has nothing to do with health. It is not paleo. It is not ketogenic. It's not even vegan. Okay, and and I'm not. This video is not about like defending paleoism or whatever the fuck. Cause I don't even follow a paleo diet. This video is stating the facts that all these vegan people got it wrong, and they'll jump on anything to back up their bullshit. Um, the news outlets got it wrong, and even Bob Harper's lying. He's saying he had he was eating a high fat diet. The only signs of him eating a high fat diet was when he was on uh, like the Rachel Ray show or something, and he was promoting uh, bulletproof coffee, which is actually something I enjoy, and it it has a lot of benefits. Um, he was drinking bulletproof coffee, or he was promoting that on the Rachel Ray show. But if you look at his Instagram posts. He said nothing about Bulletproof Coffee at all. In fact, he had several posts where he was drinking coffee, and he did not mention Bulletproof Coffee, butter, or coconut oil in any of those posts, okay? It was like toast with like jelly and berries. It was like a high-carb, low-protein, low-fat meal with like regular coffee. So don't give me that crap. <laughs> if I want to quote Arnold Schwarzenegger, don't give me that crap. Uh, that's a horrible impersonation. But uh, yeah, it total totally lying. He is probably uh, market trying to trying to market and advertise for bulletproof coffee or something. And he was probably paid to be on that show. I don't know, but I don't. But it doesn't look like he was even on bulletproof coffee from what I'm looking at his Instagram posts. And that brings me to the next thing is, and he was lying about eating a high fat diet. He wasn't. And also, if you notice after his heart attack. Now he's pretty much eating the same exact diet he was before. It's it's like it's like lean protein, lean animal protein, vegetables, and now he's just eating more vegetable protein, but um he's promoting this super carb diet nonsense, okay? And he's like saying that this is the way he's gonna take care of his heart and all this stuff and he's shifted. He's using his heart attack uh, as like a marketing tool now and marketing this new diet that he changed to after his heart attack. He's hardly really changed his diet. He's eating uh, low fat, moderate carb, you know, higher protein. So this is really nonsense. It's, it's crazy that people, you know, including Bob Harper, um, are lying about what really went went on and what's really going on and the cause of his heart attack was probably electrolyte imbalance It was a cardiac arrhythmia. It was not a, a real heart attack So leave your questions and comments down below. I can't, uh, I only have 10 minutes and I'll talk to you soon subscribe